This is Fly My Construction, episode one. And my name is Tom Deck from Theme Park Coasting and today we're going to go into all the details around Fright Night 2019. Before we get started, I do just want to warn you that some of my theories that I mention are extremely far-fetched. However, I do put in as much detail as I can and look at many sources to make this the best video as possible. But this best video is all thanks to you guys because we have almost hit 500 subscribers. So if you are new to this channel and want to see many more Fright Night construction, make sure to check out the massive red subscribe button and make sure to as well click that, as well as seeing our social media pages to see live updates as when we find it out. But enough about that, let's find out what mazes there are. Right behind me is Platform 15, one of my favourite horror mazes at the park. But is it going to be returning for 2019? And that answer is yes. Fat from 15 is returning for its fifth year running at the park and I'm I excited 100% only started doing it last year but there's one thing about it which I'm pretty confused and that is is the layout going to be different due to the new Creekwood Sawmill a family business opened in 1889 and the actors we could possibly start seeing inside this event which is actually inside the Loggers Leap building and I will be showing you some clips of it in one second is this actor here one of the sawmill actors and that looks pretty cool and for Park Fright Nights they love the chainsaw absolutely all the events over here has had a chainsaw scene so could this possibly be the biggest event which is actually over here on Fright Nights and with all the great scenery such as like these pots here already start getting built and they got all the wood as well coming in from Derome as well as all of the scrap from the Loggers Leap building itself which shows that Loggers Leap is definitely closing however there will be one more chance to head inside that building on the maze. Yes, Living Nightmare, my first ever horror maze, is returning for 2019 Fright Nights. And I am honestly over the moon that this is returning. Such a thrilling attraction. It's been here for roughly two years now. And with the summer off the Living Nightmare Extreme, the most thrilling horror maze I think I've ever done after Platform 15. I am very looking forward to the return of this. However, queues for this are normally quite long. So if you do come over towards Fright Nights 2019, when all this construction is all over, I recommend doing that one first because it is a very, very good attraction. The third maze, which is returning, is Blair Witch. One of the mazes that I've actually never done, and I'm very impressed to come back this year. However, it doesn't really look like they've started all the work around here, and there's a big gap down there. So, oh, is that going to be their building? Are we going to change the layout a little bit? When we head down Monk's Walk next month to film the next episode of this, we will go all around about Blair Witch and see what it's going to be like. But as well as the exit to Platform 15, the second horror maze that I talked about. Let's carry on our journey and see what else there is. Where Angry Birds 4D experience is now, it's going to become the screenplay the cinema. Been over here at Fright Nights for three years now and I have never ever experienced it. So I'm very excited this year to head in there. Obviously the rumours that they're after the jump out of you while watching the movie is pretty cool. But I'm a massive wuss for the movies. So it's going to be very interesting watching me head on that. Now, that is a good selection of mazes. However, there is still two left. The first being Containment, a paid attraction, which has been here for so many years now, but I've not done it yet but due to having to pay for it. So maybe this year it may be my time to do this escape room. And then the final one is The Walking Dead Do or Die. It has been here last year and a couple of years before now as Containment, but we actually don't know the exact location that this is located, as Bouncilla has been here, well will be here, until September time. So will there be enough time for all of it to be put up? But there's one thing that we definitely know it's going to be here for, and that is the bus. But where could that be located? Here it is. That's where it was. And if you guys still haven't worked that out during all the MTV nights, well there you go. No one else mentioned that, so I thought I might as well just pop that one up to mention that the bus is actually the station for MTV. And let's check out that vlog as well, because that was a really good one. We met with many YouTubers, it was over until 8, and these were possibly the quietest queues that you have ever seen. But now into the bit of this video, which you guys have all been waiting for. Not about what mazes are coming, because you probably know that already. But my theories about what could be happening, which is different from any other one else. Firstly, it's all about Platform 50. And as we know that it's probably not going to go through the village section this time, there could possibly be a new exit towards it. Because my views are, is that the sawmill maze 
is probably going to exit where the old Platform 15 one was. And as the exit has actually gone from Platform 15, where they normally leave the tunnel at least halfway down, could this possibly be the new exit for Sawmill? And But where will Platform 15 exit be? Could it be where the saw maze is now? Which is quite a bit of a walk around, but it's quite a long route anyway of Platform 15. Or could it just be wrap and wrap round over to where the Dead Creek Wood maze is? But Monk Smork is in the way there, so we have no idea what it actually is going to be. Secondly, it's all about the sawmill maze. And Thor Park hasn't gave us many clues about it yet. However, at the end I'll be giving you some clues that they have posted on their Twitter page. But actually, an Instagrammer called Theme Park Loop, make sure to check him out, he has noticed that it could possibly be the entrance or one of the paths of the ride going through the tunnel, the first tunnel upwards of the Logger's Leap attraction. As he put in bold writing, in addition to the bloody tunnel entrance, we also spotted axes on the floor matching that of the Dead Creek Sawmill theme. So, will we be walking up the tunnel of Logger's Leap to get into maybe this massive area where lots of axes will be? Or will this actually be the exit towards Platform 15? I don't know. But it'd be very awesome actually to walk back through that tunnel. And a bit like a memorable thing, because you could be walking along the track of the Logger's Leap at the start before you get to the actor section as they have actually cleared it out. Or you could be walking up the side of the track where you can exit normally. So that'll be very interesting actually to find out. And as soon as Fire Night comes around, that'll be the first maze that I do. But one maze which I definitely won't do, and one maze that I will never do again is. Saw so alive. Let's get in to what I have to say about it. This maze behind me is unfortunately not returning for Friday Night 2019. It has been a classic for over seven years at the park, but I think this is the time that Saw so Alive is going to be on. I've never been in it before, but just God knows what's going to happen to this. The boat as well, it used to be on the River Thames, now over here at Foot Park, and now closed. The signs have all gone. I think the future for this is very, very sad. Oh my god, recent post from Fort Park, which I've just found out, giving you five new clues for Fight Nights 2019. So here it is, the page, and then just down here is the five clues. Can't see the woods for the trees. The most popular kid at Fight Nights. Scared of the dark. Shop till you drop dead. Fear bites back. Question mark. Stay tuned to our social media to find out more. Oh, exciting actually that is because that obviously means that there's going to be a lot more here than we think there is and obviously if this can turn out like 2013's Fight Nights I'll be extremely excited with all the mazes here and all the sneak peeks I definitely recommend following Fort Park's Twitter page as well as Instagram and Facebook to find out all of these clues about Fight Nights 2019 and as it is only a couple months away I'm looking forward to doing way more of this construction to find out more but this marks the end of our Friday Nights video episode one. I hope you enjoyed, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe to find out more videos about Friday Nights coming soon, as we're gonna hopefully have five videos all about the construction of Friday Nights. And if any of any new clues, make sure you just comment down below to tell us all about them, because then we can interpret them in the next video. And of course, I will give you a shout out if you give us any clues that we don't know already. But this is me, Tom Derek from Theme Park Coasting, and goodbye.